25th of October 2023. You're very welcome back to Real True Education, not fake news. Uh, it's getting chilly, but it was a very good day today. It's just getting dark. Now, our Taoiseach, Leo Varuka, or Varadka, Fine Gael, is talking about the Dole system and the social welfare system in terms of offerings. Offerings, he calls it. This is what he says. Now, in Spain, the Dole pays 100 euros a week. In Britain, it's 95 euros a week. In Poland, it's 69 euros a week. And in Ireland, it's 240 euros a week. We have the highest rates in Europe. That came about because in successive elections and the successive budgets, Irish people were offered certain welfare assistance if they become unemployed or job seekers. And there are some long term unemployed, but we were able to afford it. And it meant that we had a high standard of living when it came to the less well off. Although some would say they shouldn't get that, but there are people who have to live on that. And I suppose it's not easy to have any standard of life. They'll not save much on 240 euros a week. Okay. Now, what's happened now is that that's a magnet for everyone leaving uh, all over the world to come to Ireland. Come to Ireland. You have three times, you have nearly three times the dole in Ireland you have in Poland. And, and you have nearly three times in Britain, you have 2.4 times what you have in Spain. And of course, for the last years, these migrants have been coming here and the government with its Green Party, the Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, have turned a blind eye. That's not to say that Fine Gael is any different. Their man in Belfast, uh, McCarney, has said he wants to see full multiculturalism. But then Eamon Ryan has said in the doll that he wants 5 million migrants here. Don't be on any doubt about it. The cravings of the traditional parties is for to fill this country up with migrants. And they know that this is the best way to get votes. And they have it rigged in such a way that those who turn against Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael and Labour and those other Lachigos will end up voting for Fianna Gael, Fianna, sorry, for Sinn Féin, for Sinn Féin, and they're worse. That's the way they have the system rigged. Now, what's come up to, there was a row yesterday, and it's reported in the Daily Mail today, there was a huge row, and uh, they're now trying to bring it out that emergency accommodation for people who come from Ukraine and other war zones, they're given emergency emergency accommodation for 90 days, and then they're saying they have to go out and find their own accommodation. In a country where our own children can't find accommodation, where the police joining the guards, cannot get a place to stay in Dublin and had to quit, not because they wanted to give up the job, but because they couldn't find a place to stay. Government is planning, according to reports, for 50,000 to 90,000 more migrants. They want 50 to 90,000 more migrants. They want hundreds of thousands of migrants. If they have half a million in the next two years, they'll consider that a great achievement. They're talking now of support of reducing social welfare rates. And they'll not bite the bullet and talk about reducing for the people who aren't from EU countries. Why do we have to offer the same social welfare rates to Ukrainians? And to, it'll be the next thing we'll have a load of Palestinians and Africans and everywhere there's any bit of a trouble, they'll all come to Ireland and they have to get the 240 a week, the same as an, a person maybe who tried to work for years, maybe developed some kind of a problem and can't work or someplace closed down, and they get the same, who contributed nothing, nothing to our economy. Right? The Taoiseach Leo Veruca says it's exaggerated. Oh, the dispute is exaggerated. Try to tone it down with his old political speak, right? Now, I have said that the only group I'd allow in here is men, young men from the Ukraine who are being conscripted. I don't believe they should be put into the meat grinder, uh, but only for as long as it takes till the war is over. I'd say another six months will end that war. Putin will take his bit and they can do what they like with the rest and it'll all be over. Meantime, there are thousands dying out there. I'd be sympathetic to that, to, to forced conscription. 
but that should, shouldn't include the women, the children and everything else. Isn't there loads of room in, there in the western Ukraine to put up emergency accommodation? They're coming here mostly for the goodies. For the goodies. And there's no block on who comes, no discrimination. It doesn't matter if they're criminals, drug addicts. They're coming here with medical conditions expecting our health service to finance it. Roderick O'Gorman is green. He's a green minister. He's this fellow, this minister for children. He's blowing about, he's kissing his boyfriend and all this old baloney. And he is looking for a half a million bailout. Five, 500, sorry, I got that wrong. 500, half a billion, half a billion bailout. He wants 500 million euros to bail out his plans to house all these foreigners and his own people can go to hell. And they'll still vote for that idiot. That is the hard fact. This is the biggest question ever faced humanity. Why do the turkeys vote for Christmas? Why do the people to elect Roderick O'Connor, Connor, I seen them giving him a, a big clap. Oh, oh, he kissed his boyfriend. Oh, and they're going to re-elect that prick. And he looks for half, half a billion to give to people who have no stake in this country at all and are only here for what they can get out of it. The same crowd of Greens and others wouldn't let in uh, Assie Bibi, a Christian woman in Ireland, and her couple of kids that were sentenced to death. They refused her. These are evil, evil villains. They're evil villains. Now, the money's running out on them, of course, and it's causing problems. And uh, we can now re re look forward to every war in the world Come to Ireland and avail of all the goodies. Avail of all the goodies. We'll give you a house. We'll give you, as Radka says, oh, the offering. Oh, we give an offering. It's like the clergy long ago. Did you pay your, your, your Christmas offerings? Oh, your offerings. And you go to a funeral, you'd pay offerings years ago. Oh, our offerings. Oh, oh, they're a little bit high. But they will not grasp. The issue of why we should have to cut our own people's welfare to facilitate foreigners. Why are we locked to the same amount of dole for the person who comes here last week as for a person who was born and reared here? That is the issue. I have said before, up along that coast, up along Dublin and Dublin 4, where they really have the vote, those people and their Fine Gael voters too, they should force these migrants into their houses. And when they have a couple of big lumps of uh, uh, Ukrainian men and women and a crowd of babies and everything else looking at their television and telling them what they want to watch and smoking cigarettes and drinking uh, satsumbrow pills and other beers and all that, then they mightn't be as enthusiastic. I'll finish, folks, with one thing. The mayor of New York, your man Brown, that Brown fella, he was telling the southern states of America, you must be, you must be accommodating, oh, you must be welcoming. Oh, What did the, the, the governors do? in Louisiana, in Texas, and in Florida, they bust the whole lot of the migrants up to New York. He was getting 2,000 a month. A lot of the big fancy stores are closing because you can't get into them with people sleeping in the doorways. Now he's whinging, oh, we can't handle this. Oh, we've too much. Oh, what are we going to do? This is the level of creeps that we have having a say in our lives and our neighbours are voting for these politicians and will vote again. And the only thing you can do, folks, is tackle your neighbour. Ask him, who did you vote for? Don't be afraid to say it. Don't be afraid to say it. And I believe myself, it's high time we got rid of the secret ballot. If you want to vote, you should have to say who you're voting for. This thing I've been going in, I, I do this now. I do that for a vote, but no, 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 no. I don't agree with it. Anyway. What are we going to do? Our country's been given away, given away by these left-wing loony louts that have no love for Ireland. They are a lot of them, and Radke is a, a, a part Indian. They have no, a, a, no sympathy with us people or anything else. All they want is to take our cars, take our cattle, and put us the hell out of the country and replace us with somebody from Timbuktu. They're an evil crowd of villains to think of doing that. You agree with me? Give a thumbs up. And if you don't, a thumbs down. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm right. I'd like to hear it all. Bye-bye. Thank you.